I'm, I'm playing a young guy traveling to Mexico with his new wife to celebrate the honeymoon. So I've been partying because of my wedding for three days. So as soon as I get to the plane, I fall asleep. So when I woke up, I realized the dangerous and the bad situation uh, that the plane that the plane uh, is 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 under is living. So as I see that 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 could be the um, that might be the last days of our of our lives in the plane, I have something inside of my body, I cannot say it now, and I decided to to share it with all of the crew and all of the passengers to try to to make them live the most beautiful days of of their lives like some something that will make them more happy more free and more communicative <laughs> and and many more things so that's yeah that's what my character is about yeah i'm a single flight attendant I'm connected really seriously with the cockpit and the rest of the passengers. Uh, I'm really connected with the other uh, flight attendants. I think the three flight attendants is a kind of monster with three heads. And Pedro uh, described these three people like very, like a, like a only character. No? And uh, we are the connection between the reality of the cockpit and the problem in the, in the, in the flight and the uh, the dreams of the rest of the passengers, and my character is a man who doesn't who doesn't uh, want to lie. He, he has a big problem in the past, and he doesn't want to lie again. And he's fighting against his, his feelings, and uh, he wants to, to tell the truth. And that's the that's the comedy because you you have a big drama, and you you carry with a big drama, and you can't lie, but uh, Somebody, uh, his lover, is the captain of the of the trip, the commander in chief, uh, demands him not to tell the truth in the to the rest of the passengers. That's uh, it's a beautiful uh, met metaphor about the film. Too. I played ballet education with him, and I think I played the most crazy gay character flamboyant in my life with this amazing transsexual in ballet education. But I cannot imagine that he offered me another more flamboyant than ever. Um, yeah, he he's crossing the whole time genders. Not only in uh, genders about uh, bisexuals or homosexuals or heterosexuals. Genders about comedy and tragedy and uh, and melodrama too. And this is not a, a, a comedy only. He's uh, crossing the lines and he's breaking the rules constantly. Pedro loves that. Uh, you are working with him in a comedy and suddenly appears the, the, the drama constantly, or he stops the comedy to tell a new story or a monologue. He's, um, he's, he's happy doing that. And for an actor, sometimes he's a little worried, because you are a little worried because, oh, I don't understand my character. Why uh, stops here and we dance, for example? Why I'm going to, to dance for a three minutes in a, in, a, in a film? Because I love that. And he's always, uh, not only surprise the audience, but the actors do. No? And I love that with Pedro. He's crossing the lines constantly. I think uh, his freedom, uh, and he's very brave, uh, showing and speaking in many, in many ways what, of what he believes in. Mm, his passion. Too. His passion, and at the same time, uh, the way he, he shoots he changed um, genders, genders, yeah. right? Like uh, comedy, then he goes to the drama, and everything is very, very subtle, and you cannot notice that uh, as an audience, but you're in that train, and you're enjoying it. So I think that's one of the things that... And the necessity to tell a story. Mm -hmm. He has not only the passion and the story, but he has a huge necessity to tell, to... to to, to narrate, how do you say that? Narrate. To narrate this story. And he needs the best crew, the best actors, because he has a huge necessity to tell the story to the world. And that's fantastic because he doesn't stop any single moment to, to follow this, to be focused on this uh, goal. And that's fantastic. Uh, uh, I've 
been in three films and always is the same. And that's the difference between the other directors. It's like, oh my God, this man is hmm. with his age, with his, uh, with his absolutely CV, and he's trying to tell a story because he needs to tell the story. And I love that. And also the gift to portray characters that you don't, you don't know normally, like characters that surprise you in many, in many ways of the way he reacts in life. 